available DVD locations. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us on Turner Classic Movies, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Richard Burton's early acting career is notable for his impressive performances in Shakespearean and biblical dramas. But by the 1960s, the actor really wanted to star in an old-fashioned action-adventure story that would impress his two boys. He found it in our next film, a World War II thriller about an elite group of commandos assigned to rescue an American general who's been captured by the Nazis. From MGM in 1969, co-starring Clint Eastwood, it's where eagles dare. Novelist Alistair McLean wrote the screenplay. It was his first story written directly for the screen. McLean wrote electric adventure books like The Guns of Navarone and Ice Station Zebra. And Hollywood snapped up the rights to them as quickly as he could crank them out. But in the case of Where Eagles Dare, producer Elliot Kastner suggested McLean change his routine and write something original for the big screen and then turn it into a novel. Six weeks later, they had a screenplay, and McLean later had another best-selling novel. Top billing goes to Richard Burton, but co-star Clint Eastwood was not happy about that. At the time, Burton was certainly the bigger movie star, but Eastwood had just established himself as an international film star with his spaghetti westerns for Sergio Leone in Italy. So Eastwood was not interested in returning to playing second leads. He only agreed to take the role in Where Eagles Dare after MGM offered him leading man money. We know now, of course, Eastwood did not need to worry. The movie was a big hit, and it was the last time Eastwood's name appeared anywhere but first in the credit roll. Today, it comes up more for directing than acting. From 1969, also starring Mary Ewer, and directed by Brian G. Hutton, Where Eagles Dare. 